Yeah, well, we can finally start some, with some football. Um, it's been a very busy two weeks and a uh, you know, challenging couple of days, but I think uh, you know, finally everybody's here. We know why we're here. You know, we need to refocus now and uh, set our minds to, to the World Cup. And I was listening to Temi's interview and she said, you know, now nah, it's all work ahead for, for, for the World Cup. We, we know why we're here. We know what we want to achieve, both as individuals and as a group, and we're really looking forward to restarting training again. No, most definitely, but you know, this couple of next couple of days is all about, you know, managing the jet lag and managing the recovery and making sure, you know, that we really take care of the players to get the best out of them later. Um, so it's been very difficult, uh, difficult for me, um, you know, the, 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 the sleeping hours and trying to keep everybody as busy as possible to not sleep too early, to make sure that we go to sleep at bedtime. So that's been really difficult. But I think now that everyone's here, we now have two groups on a different level because, you know, the one came earlier than the other one. But hopefully by, by Sunday we'll all be sorted. Well, a couple of times in training it was quite cold in Joburg, not really rainy, but quite cold. But, uh, you know, we knew what to expect uh, when we came here. Um, some coming from Cape Town obviously got the cold weather um, and very cold there. Um, Joburg's been cold too, um, you know, so we knew what to expect, but you never know what to expect until you get here and then experience this. So we've gone out for walks, um, also been to gym, um, making sure, you know, that players are kept busy throughout the day just to make sure that the sleeping pattern is not disrupted too much. Um, but it's still difficult, so we're trying to manage that. And I think the players are professional enough to know, you know how to deal with it and, you know, um, medical team, conditioning coaches, all available just uh, for input, etc. And making sure, you know, that we, we start really well when we start our training. Well, the hotel staff have been very welcoming um, and very accommodating and helpful, which is fantastic. You know, when you're in a foreign country, you need all of that, you know, um, help. You need all of that friendliness, and they've been very friendly. Even on our walks, you know, people were taking pictures and, and waving, uh, you know, some banners from from World Cup, etc. Um, you know, and wanting to know who we were, um, you know, uh, because they, are you coming for the World Cup, etc. And, and we said yes and wishing us good luck, etc. taking pictures and, and even the hotel staff, you know, are setting up everything for us. We, um, I mean, I've never slept in such a comfortable be full bed in a, in, away from home in a very long time. So that is really comforting as well. Um, and the helpfulness and, and all of that has just been fantastic from, from the New Zealanders.